guess who's playing in dirt today? Hi guys, welcome back to the craft table. And if you are new here, I want to invite you right in, sit down, kick your shoes off, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Today's tutorial, I am doing something I have never done before, which is not really unusual, but this time it was an expensive something. Something I've always wanted to try, but just the money itself, you know, cheapskate me. If you have to pay over a buck, it's too much. But this one was worth it. Today I'm playing with resin. We happen to be at Lowe's and I have for a long time wanted to build a fairy garden pond with waterfall. And I asked the gentleman there, told him what I wanted to do, he handed me this box and so the deed was done. I am building a fairy garden pond with waterfall and it is going to be movable and reusable. You know me. I'm going to be able to put it in my fairy garden come winter. I am going to pick it up, put it in a storage container, put it away for the winter. Next spring I can put it back out. So it's kind of worth it. Also, this is one of the things you're going to need, the resin. In my tutorial, you will see me making the waterfall, and I forgot to add to the things you're going to need list. Uh, plastic. Clear, thin, flexible plastic. And as you can see, this is one of those I'm not sure what they're called. It's a file folder of some sort. And it's got the clear plastic. The rest of it's a thin plastic. And as you can tell, I used it to make stuff on at one time. So I cut a hunk, cut some slices, bent them over to make my waterfall. You'll see it in the tutorial. So. Don't forget, you need your um, resin and some kind of clear plastic to give the base of your waterfall. So, now that we know what I forgot to tell you, let's get to work. These are the items that you will need to build your pond. One plastic container, some newspaper, or you can use old plastic bags, aluminum foil, some landscape cloth, scissors, hot glue, and your choice of outdoor usable glue. E6000 works well, or as I always use, the clear silicone. These are just some of the things that you will need to help decorate your pond. Remember, this is your pond, your imagination. Grasses, flowers, leaves to decorate around the edges and on the grounds. I am using this to hold the bottom of the pond underneath so it will not sink as I fill it with rocks, sand, if you'd like to put this on the bottom of your pond or around the edges to make it beachy. Small white rocks to decorate the grounds or the bottom of your pond. Reindeer moss to make your pond look woodsy. Pebbles for around the edges and the grounds. Larger rocks to help build a waterfall and other rocks to decorate around the grounds. Remember, all this is imagination. You build it the way you want it.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. And I really want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to spend a little of it with me. And I hope you were able to find that little spark of inspiration and get that imagination going. And if you enjoy these tutorials and would like to see more, please consider subscribing. And don't forget, hit the notification bell so you actually get notified when I upload a new one. You have a great week. And I promise I will see you soon. Bye-bye now.